Welcome back, grade six, to Nelson Math, chapter eight, section five, solving problems using equations. As I've been telling you for this whole unit, it especially applies today for section eight, five. And what I'm very strongly suggesting, again, would be to please draw the pictures and carry out the calculations on your sketch diagrams. Whenever we deal with non-linear, so today we're using area, that's non-linear, that's squares. It's very easy sometimes to get turned around, so please draw the pictures. Let's do this one right here first. The question asks, the students made and painted a simple tree for a stage prop. They used half a can of green paint. They would like to make and paint two, two smaller triangle trees using most or all of the remaining paint. What base and height could they use for the new trees? A couple of things to point out here. It says, what base and height could they use? There are many different correct answers for that question. There are lots of different answers for that question, but only a few of them will actually be correct. Please don't think just because you come up with an answer, it is correct. You must go back and check. And the other thing would be to label this and keep track of everything that you have done for this question. It is crucial so that you do not get confused when you look at the different bits of information. So to point some stuff out from here, one, one of these trees here, for this one, they used half a can of green paint. That means they have another half can left of green paint, and the area is going to be similar to this. So let's see if we can piece together a bit at a time and how far we can get with this. We know that the area of the big tree is 200 centimeters times 300 centimeters, and we know from our formula rule that we do 300 times 200 and divide that by 2. So 300 times 200 is 60,000. Let's review that from a previous chapter. 2 times 3 is 6, and 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So it's 60,000 centimeters squared. But that would be for a parallelogram or a rectangle with those dimensions. We want the triangle, so we would be cutting it in half by 2. So the area of this triangle is 30,000 centimeters squared, and that's for half a can of paint. What that means is that the area of the two smaller trees combined together would be approximately 30,000 centimeters squared. It doesn't mean each of the smaller ones would be 30,000. It would mean together they would be 30,000. So let's do some possible estimating here. One tree could be 15,000 centimeters squared and the other one could be 15,000 centimeters squared. That works. One tree could be 20,000 centimeters squared and one tree could be 10,000 centimeters squared. 20,000 plus 10,000 is 30,000. That one would work. Another one could be 25,000 centimeters squared and 5,000. Those would all work, but we need those dimensions. We only have the area thus far. How high would the tree have to be? Just being given the area doesn't mean we know how high or how wide the tree is, but we do have a good idea of how big the area each one would be. So let's move on. I've written the necessary information here that the area of the two smaller trees combined must be 30,000 centimeters squared. So with some trial and, and error, we can see, well, how is it that we would be able to find uh, trees that would meet this criteria? I'm going to pretend that I want to make two of the exact same tree, and each of those trees would be 15,000 centimeters squared. So if I make two trees that are exactly 15,000 centimeters squared, I would then meet my criteria of having the 30,000 centimeters squared met. 
So I could use my half a can of paint to make a 15,000 centimeter square tree and a second 15,000 centimeter square tree. So as I've suggested to you for this entire unit, please make a sketch. So here I have a sketch of the two smaller trees. Each is 15,000 centimeters squared. So this one's 15,000 centimeters squared. This one's 15,000 centimeters squared. So together, they would be 30,000 centimeters squared. Now, just for the purposes of this little demonstration, I want to show you what would happen to my areas if I put them both like this. So what happened to my area? It was 15,000 here and 15,000 here. So what is it right now? Together, they're 30,000. So we know from our formulas, I need, I need something, two numbers, that if I multiply them together, will give me 30,000. Through the wonderful world of trial and error, we could see that uh, you could pick any number here, but you could take 250 times 120. Now with 30,000, you could find two numbers very easily. You could have done, for example, 300 times 100 if you wanted to make that your dimension. That's fine if you, you could do that. I chose through trial and error, 250 times 120. But this 30,000 centimeters squared is both trees put together. One tree would just be 15,000. So you can see that from here. If I do 250 centimeters times 120 centimeters, that's 30,000 centimeters squared. So one of these triangles would be 15,000 centimeters squared. So our base would be 120 centimeters, and the height would be 250 centimeters for this triangle. And if I move this one back, we would get the same thing. The base of 120 centimeters and the height of 250 centimeters. Keep in mind, these are not the only two sets of dimensions you can use. There are many different sets. As long as the two dimensions that you choose multiply to 30,000, because when you divide them by two, you'll get 15,000 and it will meet the criteria of half a can of paint covering 30,000 centimeters squared. Let's go back and check. We're gonna check for just one tree. So 250 centimeters times 120 centimeters divided by two, that's for one smaller tree, is 30,000 divided by two which is 15,000 centimeters for one tree. So two trees would be 15,000 centimeters squared plus 15,000 centimeters squared for 30,000 centimeters squared. That was my example. I would encourage you to find different dimensions, both for having the same size of tree and for different sizes of tree. Please make sure you draw it out and please make sure you check. Thanks everyone. Have a good day.